What is this? Wow! Ew! This is tiny. It smells of fish. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be filming another extra haul. Um, I have filmed a couple of these in the past. Today's one is going to be clothing from eBay and Wish, I think, and maybe Zaffle. I have a little pile of items of clothing next to me that I deem to be a little more extra. And this is what I deem to be extra. If you don't deem it to be extra, that's great but I do. So the things that are a little bit more out there, you have to have a little bit more confidence and fashion sense to be able to wear, which I do not. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna start unboxing them, see what we have. Okay, package number one, I have no clue what's in here. I do not remember ordering something with this pattern. And I don't know if you can tell on screen, it just looks like plain brown on screen, but it is slightly glittery. Can you see what I mean? There's like little, bits of silver stuff in it. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> what is that? This is a dress. As you can see, the material feels weird. Um, the inside actually feels quite soft, but the outside, this feels weird and it's all sticking together a little bit. And then these, are the sleeves. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm supposed to get my arm through these. Um, it possibly looks better when it's on. Oh my goodness. How on earth do you get your arms into this? I can't help but think that's not what it's meant to be like. What's happened? I don't understand. It's just given me bingo wings. <laughs> we'll try it on. We'll see what it looks like. I'm not looking forward to it. I honestly don't know like how to get my arms through this. This is the most difficult thing to put on. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> if we cut the sleeves off, the dress isn't that bad. I don't think it works with my skin tone just because I think maybe they're too close. It sort of makes me look a little bit like I'm naked. Maybe, let me know. The sleeves though, what is happening here? What are this? <laughs> just, what, just, <laughs> I don't see the purpose. Okay, if I hold the sleeves, then I think this is more what it's meant to look like as opposed to this. But it definitely feels like a very, very thin dress and a very unforgiving dress. So if you're going out and you plan to eat anything, which I always plan on doing when I leave the house, all bloatiness will show. I don't really think it's that extra, I just think the sleeves need cutting off. Shall I just cut off the sleeves? <laughs> Bye sleeve. I think it's better, but it's not great. I don't think I did the best job. So for those of you that comment on videos saying I should film a video where I fix up items I didn't like, this is why I don't do it, because I don't know what I'm doing. Let me know what you think, or whether you think it looks better as an asymmetrical dress with one sleeve and no sleeve, you know? Okay, I remember this. This is another PVC-ish type dress. I thought I'd give it another go, by a different seller, different dress, different type, and this time in pink. Look at this when I peel it apart. It's kind of satisfying. It is in a hot, hot pink color with uh, little sleeves. It looks a lot. It smells of fish. Oh my gosh, I've actually just gagged. That actually smells disgusting. My eyes are watering. Oh my gosh, it smells so bad. Did you ever use that glue in school? It was like thick white glue and it smells of like rotten fish. This smells like that. I don't know if they've used that in there somehow or if the PVC is made up of that or I don't honestly have a clue, but this is making me gag. Uh, oh, and there's a little zip down the side. So that should help me get into it. Let's try it on. Stinks. Oh my goodness. I don't think this is gonna go up. <laughs> you could do it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm stood like this. Wow. <laughs> this is not comfortable. <laughs> this is really not comfortable. Um, I feel like I can't breathe. 
I feel like I'm bound into place. This, I think I just broke it. This is so far under my armpits. It hurts to put my armpits down. Like this is uncomfortable and I can't really move my legs very far. This is as far as my legs will go. And as you guys know, I like to flail and jump about and it's just not possible in this dress. Oh, a stitch has come loose. Oopsie. <laughs> You wouldn't see me wearing this dress anywhere. Now, this is what I would call pretty extra. Um, you have to be very confident and out there if you're gonna wear this. Um, and also have, you know, the most insane body ever because this is tight. It feels like there's zero give. It feels really, really tight. But then if you stretch, apparently it rips. <laughs> you can stretch it a little bit it's very very strange it feels like someone's wrapped me in cling film um and i don't feel comfortable in it and it's also getting quite warm inside so if you feel comfortable that's great uh let me know if you would wear this i i personally would not um and i definitely think it's very extra very barbie so i'm gonna try and get out of it and we'll try on the next piece of clothing i've just looked into the next package and it does not look as I'd hoped. This is tiny, and I'm pretty sure this is meant to be like a big teddy bear jacket, which it just isn't. Online, this looks pretty thick and warm and fluffy. Um, and this is, I don't even know how to show you how thin it is. That look, oh, look, you can see my nails through it. That's how thin it is. It is super thin. It is pretty soft, but a weird grippy kind of soft. I got really excited for this because I really like wearing baby blue and I think it looks really nice. Um, this just isn't quite as thick and fluffy and cute as I wanted. It is a little bit cropped. It's got a little pocket on the front, long sleeves and then a little zip and it is quite high neck. Um, it isn't what I was expecting, but we will try it on and it might still look cute. Okay, let's try on my little hoodie. Oh, it stinks. Oh, it looks quite cute though, doesn't it? What do you think? I think it looks quite cute. I don't know if I'd wear it because I don't know what I'd necessarily wear it with. I don't feel like it would necessarily go with jeans and jeans are kind of everything I wear. It is pretty comfortable. It smells a little bit, but it's not itchy. It is pretty comfortable, but the sleeves are I don't know if they're meant to be made like this, but they feel pretty poorly made. I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's more how they feel, but the arm seems perfectly fine, kind of until here. And then it sort of seems baggy and it just doesn't seem like it's meant to be that shape. So these are the shoes that I'm gonna be trying on and they are similar-ish to the extra shoes in my first video, my first extra video. A little more extra, maybe, and I'm very excited to try them on, so. Look at these shoes. These ones come with fluff, little buckles with gems on them. And then around the front and on the heel, they have like rose gold study detailing. Ew, and they're dirty. Look at those heels. I'm gonna go ahead and match my little heels with my baby blue top. I hope these fit and that they're as comfortable as the last white shoes because, oh wow, that is really full of air. Someone has, that is full of air. That is, that would make a loud bang if you popped it. They've got a pretty cute little inside. I think it just says one, two, three over and over in a darker gray, but that's pretty cute. Okay, foot is going in. Oh, they are tight. They are definitely not as comfortable as the previous pair of boots. What are we thinking? Do they look cute? Oh. Oh. Boot is on. Okay. What are we thinking? What do we think? Kind of a fan of my outfit. They are comfortable, but I will say they're a little tighter than the last one and a lot less um, like squidgy under the ball of my foot. They're a lot more solid than the last pair. 
Okay, let me know in the comments whether you'd wear these shoes, whether I should wear these shoes, and what they would be worn with. I don't know, I think they look a little weird with shorts on, but maybe, maybe if you wore trousers that could tuck into them, maybe like tights or leggings and tuck them in. They feel good, they feel comfortable, they feel sturdy, and I just really like them. I don't know when I'll wear them, but I really like them. This, I think, is a tracksuit. It looks kind of cute on the girl. Something I would never wear the house leaving, but could be pretty comfortable around the house. And if you're extra enough, could wear out. So we're gonna try it on. We've got some tracksuit bottoms. They are in a, what do you call it? Nude, a dark nude color with white stripes down the side. They have an elasticated waistband. They are extremely thin but I guess tracksuits are all about comfort, so we'll see what that is like. And then this is the top. It is a little hooded crop top with long sleeves in the same um, dark nude color. And yeah, we're gonna try this on. I'm holding it up and I don't think this is gonna look good on me. I also think this might clash with my skin tone. I'm not too sure. I don't really understand the whole skin tone thing. I don't really get it, so. We're gonna try it on and you guys can let me know what you think about it. I'm thinking that looks more like the back of trousers than that does, but they don't have a label in there, so they feel very, very thin. Very thin. Feels very much like I'm getting ready for bed. Very, very thin and light and airy. Um, okay, put the top on. Ooh. Oh, this does not fit nicely. Oh, I don't like how this feels on. Okay, you know sometimes when you buy a shirt and it just hasn't been stitched together right? I don't know if everyone's experienced that. It feels like the fabric wants to twist round, like it's tighter on this side, looser on this side, and it is. it just feels like it's been stitched very, very wrong. It doesn't look like it's been poorly stitched, I don't think, but it definitely feels like it's different on both sides, so there's that, and then looks wise, I personally wouldn't wear it, but I don't hate it. It's actually quite cute. I just don't think I'd ever wear a tracksuit out. It does feel like I'm in my pajama bottoms. I'm all about the comfort, love comfort clothing, but tracksuits to me are just maybe one step too far. I, I honestly don't know why I don't like a tracksuit. Oh, let's test the hood. I do have a bun on, so doesn't fully work. Ah, uh, the hood's okay. And I've also just noticed when walking and moving, this is making a very interesting little pouch <laughs> thing. So yeah, maybe too extra for me, but definitely, definitely quite cute. I like it. Last item. And this item is possibly the biggest clothing item I've received that hasn't been a wedding dress. For the most part, Everything I've ever ordered on Wish or eBay has come in small little packages and it's always smaller than you think. This is a pretty large package and I do believe it's a coat that I ordered and I'm very excited to see what it's like. So. Okay. I'm excited for this. <gasps> it actually feels pretty decent puffer jacket quality. What the heck? Is the company rising like a good company? I've never heard of it, but this feels good. And I'm getting, is it Tommy Hilfiger vibes? I think it's Tommy Hilfiger, red, blue, and white. Maybe, maybe I've got this. I don't know fashion. <laughs> I don't know fashion, holding my hands up. Um, This looks really good quality. I'm so excited to try this on. If this suits me, and if you guys let me know in the comments that it suits me, then I might actually end up wearing this out. Okay, so I put my jeans on so that we can see what this looks like. Oh my gosh, it already looks really cute. Okay, I'm gonna try this on. I'm really excited. Please look cute, please, please, please. It feels so snuggly and warm and I've only just put it on. I quite like it, it is very bulky. It is like a puffer jacket style, so I know it's meant to be bulky, but it's very bulky. And then if we do this up, let's see what it looks like. Get my hair out of the way. The neck is bothering me a little bit. If you can see, it's like tucking itself under. So I don't know if you can iron that outwards. I don't know if you'd iron it, but maybe scrunch it and hold it outwards. I wish there was something to hold it. Okay, we're done, we can do this. I've developed a love-hate relationship with this coat. Um, 
on one hand I think it looks quite cute, I do, but I also think it looks extremely bulky. Definitely think this looks better open, not with this crop top underneath, but just it looks better open than it does close. This bit keeps going under my neck and it's very annoying, but I think it's just too puffy for me. I very much feel like a child being sent on their way to school in an oversized coat kind of vibe. <laughs> You know? Whereas when it's undone, I'm getting more fashionable extra vibes from it, you know? I don't really know, but I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. It would make me super happy. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next Friday at 6 p.m. Bye, love ya.